You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. Well, Black and White Sports fans, we're going to be talking about the lost Angeles Lakers. Yes, the L O S T, because this team is lost. They are completely lost. This team is an absolute dumpster fire, folks. Since the beginning of 2022, the Lakers actually have the second worst record in the NBA may actually be the worst. I mean, it's been that bad since the start of the new year. They have not won back to back games in three months. Coming into this game against the Suns, they were on a six game losing streak and as predicted, they lost to the Suns. So they have lost seven in a row and folks, ladies and gentlemen, the Lakers officially eliminated from the playoffs after seven straight loss. We had more starting lineups than wins. Wow. But I guess you know what? A lot of people should have saw this coming as LeBron James, the general manager of this team. He put this team together. Super duper old. And the Lakers, man. 31 and 48 on the season. 17 games under 500. And remember, LeBron James put out that tweet talking about he was out for the rest of the season. See you in the fall. He wasn't far off in that. He played one game since that tweet. And now, guys, since they're actually eliminated from the from the playoffs, will we actually see LeBron James again this season? Maybe if he wants to win that scoring title, I believe he has to play two more games. But with that ankle injury, does he actually want to risk it? I'm not really sure. And Frank Vogel, man, is going to be the fall guy because reports are saying that he is done as the Lakers coach. He said this after the 121 110 loss to Phoenix. Extremely disappointed. Disappointed for our fan base. Disappointed for the bus family who gave us all this opportunity. And we want to play our part in bringing success to Laker basketball. And we fell short. Well, you don't say. Carmelo Anthony said this, quote, we just didn't get it done. We had the tools. Some things were out of our control. Some things we could control. Some things we couldn't. And it's nothing else more than we didn't get it done. You can't make no excuses about it. We just didn't get it done. Injuries sabotaged the season with L.A.'s uh, new bit three of LeBron James Davis and Russell Westbrook combining to play just 21 games together on Tuesday. The Lakers went 11 and 10 in those games, hardly dominant, but certainly not cellar dwellers either. Well, guys, thing is LeBron James, his tenure with the Lakers has been injuries. I mean, he missed 18 games the first season he was with uh, LA. The next season, the bubble happened and that, that uh, team was actually injured going into uh, the bubble. Well, actually, before the uh, the season got stopped uh, because of the virus, they go into the bubble. They win the bubble title. And then the next season, injuries. LeBron with an ankle. Anthony Davis hurt. This season, same thing. LeBron ankle. Anthony Davis hurt. This is embarrassing, folks. The most disappointing season in Laker history has now come to an end. LeBron James has missed uh, 23 games this season. And even when LeBron has played, the Lakers have still lost. They still have a losing record. Wow, they have a lot of things to do in the offseason. But Frank Vogel is going to be the fall guy. But LeBron James needs to take, I would say, 80% of the blame for this. Because this is the team who he wanted to put together. He wanted Russell Westbrook on this team. Russell Westbrook does not mix with this team whatsoever. Probably the oldest team in NBA history. And they go out like this. They don't defend. And the Lakers actually led, led after the first quarter, but the third quarter, man, they got steamrolled by the Suns. 35-22. It was a blowout. And the only reason why the score is a little bit closer than what it seems because, you know, garbage time. They were out of this thing. 
They were out of this thing. Anthony Davis, to me, has never been that dude. He hasn't. Good number two. But you can't depend on this guy because he's always hurt. When Anthony Davis was on the court, the Lakers were minus 19. Russell Westbrook, minus nine. Bradley, minus 16. And granted, Phoenix is probably the best team in the NBA. But still, man, this is embarrassing. Embarrassing. Chris Paul didn't even give the Suns a lot. Now, Devin Booker went off 32 points. 12 or 22 from the field. This man's the real deal, man. Maybe Phoenix can actually win the title. I'm not really sure, man, but. Wow, the Lakers officially done. Not a surprise at all, man. But this is still extremely embarrassing. The GOAT conversation is definitely, definitely over with. And I don't know what's going to happen in in the offseason with the Lakers, but uh, I don't think they're going to trade LeBron James. Word is that they, they, they may actually move Anthony Davis. I'm not really sure. Russell Westbrook, that contract is horrific. Terrific. But they they're stuck with LeBron for another season. Something's telling me, guys, that. This will be next season will be LeBron's last season in L.A. Because they definitely have to look at the injuries that are just um, piling up on his body. He's going to be 38 years old. I don't foresee them giving him another year after this. But you never know. Maybe they're desperate or something like that. I don't know. LeBron is pretty much checked out. You know, he's worried about playing with uh, Bronny more than winning games. And that's not even a guarantee that Bronny is even good enough to make it to the NBA. That's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this? Black and white sports fans. It is official. The Lakers eliminated from the playoffs, the playing tournament. LeBron James got his wish, man. He said, whoever came up with this shit needs to be fired. Well, guess what? You don't have to play in the playing tournament anymore. Anyway, guys, let us know what you think about all this in the comments. Make sure to subscribe to Black and White Sports, and we'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.